wastewater treatment in your backyard, otherwise known as a septic system. So one thing that we have to cover in our curriculum is wastewater treatment. We need to understand how a wastewater treatment plant works. But for most of us out here, um, we don't have wastewater treatment plants, we have septic systems. So I decided that I'm going to show you guys some real life things about how a septic system works by using the septic system in the backyard, my backyard. So come with me. So there's my septic system. Um, it's the three manholes that are right there that you can see in the yard and that little hill in the backyard um, and that little post that's sticking out of the ground. So all of that together um, comprises my septic system. So that is an access point to get to the pipe that takes all of the gray water and black water out of my house. And these are, these are two access points to the first tank, which is where primary um, treatment takes place. Well, the first two tanks are where primary treatment takes place where there is a physical separation between um, the solids and the liquids. Um, like in the video we saw right before this, the, um, the solids are gonna settle to the bottom, the oils are gonna rise to the top, and then the liquid is gonna move um, into the back part of the first tank, which is the second, um, manhole cover and it's going to separate even further. So when the tank gets pumped, it's um, the sludge that's in these first two manholes where it actually gets uh, pumped from. This manhole is where the pump tank is. Um, it's where the material gets pumped from the tank out into the septic field. I can't zoom out any further. Um, you can see the hill in the backyard. Um, that is the secondary treatment system where the material gets pumped into the top and then um, gravity and natural uh, bacterial processes work to purify that water before it goes back um, into the groundwater. The, uh, this is called the raised mound septic system um, because of the location of our groundwater. And compared to some other raised mound systems I've actually seen, this one isn't so bad. I'd say it's probably about five feet off the ground at most. Um, and then there are four access points um, if we ever need to get in there and check out um, what's going on. My husband pushed them down into the ground, so chances are I'm gonna wind up tripping over them before I see them. Oh, there they are. He pushed these way down into the ground. So it's not a huge, um, you know, elevation change, but that's a raised mound septic system. What you see in this picture is a before and in the middle of it, during um, the building of my septic system. The excavator that you see in the top picture is the same excavator that's in the hole in the bottom picture for a sense of scale <clears throat> for the depth of the hole. Uh, the hole was filled and the mound was built out of sand because sand um, allows the liquid to percolate and allows the bacteria to work and do their job. It took almost 40 30 ton dump truck loads to create the raised mound that we were on in my backyard. That's a lot of sand. 